So what exactly is asthma? The moment I use the word asthma with patients, a lot of them get really, really scared. The word asthma itself causes such immense fear in a lot of parents. Is it really something for us to be so worried about? Actually not. Asthma is nothing but the inflammation of our lower airways, which can be caused due to allergies or many other causes. So let me explain to you what exactly happens in asthma so that you can understand this disease much better. So first importantly, what are these lower airways? Airways are nothing but pipes which carry air and oxygen from outside the environment up to the level of your lungs. Now how do these air pipes look? This is how exactly your lower airways look. They are made up of cartilage or muscle as well as some amount of soft tissue surrounding them. And we have an opening which is a circumference of the airways through which air tends to pass in and out. Now this is let's say how a normal airway looks. Now in case it gets inflamed due to an allergic reaction or due to any cause, immediately these air pipes tend to become much narrower. The musculature around the air pipes constrict and therefore the circumference of this airway becomes much narrow. Almost something like this. So as you can see, the airway circumference has definitely reduced from something which is quite wide to something which has become more narrow. So what happens when air is moving through a much narrow pipe is that it produces a whistling sound, almost like you breathing through a straw. And this is what we hear as we sing. Also because you are taking air through a much much thinner pipe, you tend to find it more difficult to breathe and you may develop symptoms of cough. Now if you keep developing asthma symptoms or these wheezing symptoms repeatedly and these airways are moving from open to closed, wide to narrow over a period of time, they tend to become remodeled. What do you mean by remodeling? They tend to grow in a similar narrow fashion and this may continue for a longer period of time especially in children. Something like this. So the air pipes tend to grow in a narrow fashion, they tend to become severely blocked with mucus plugs and they tend to get remodeled into an asthmatic airway. So what exactly happens when you give different medications, for example nebulizers or inhalers? They do nothing but make this small narrow airway into a much wider one. So an airway which became narrow due to inflammation like this tends to become big and regular like this. But this is only temporary when we are using something called as bronchodilators especially your salbutamol or levosalbutamol. But how do we maintain the airways in this situation and not allow it to keep becoming narrow is when we use medications which are called as preventer medications. So these preventer medications reduce the inflammation in the airway and prevent these air pipes from becoming narrow on a repeated, uh, repeated accounts. So it's very easy for us to use preventer medication over a period of time in the form of either inhalers or different devices and not allow our airways to become repeatedly narrow. If we tend to use this over a long period of time, we can avoid remodeling and allowing these airways to grow in this narrow fashion. Therefore, there is nothing for us to get scared when we hear the word asthma. Asthma can be prevented, asthma symptoms can be prevented, as well as severity of asthma can definitely be prevented by using medication appropriately in our children. So let us help our children breathe much better.